Hi folks, this is Rockman Pat bringing you another GeoTalk. Today I'm in Wallace, Idaho, Northern Idaho, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the amazing little town here and its history in the silver mining business. Now, actually, Wallace began as a gold strike back in the 1878, late 1800s, but that's not the thing that put Wallace on the map. What put Wallace, Idaho on the map was the silver industry. Now, the first cabin was built here in Wallace by a Colonel William Wallace, and um, he chose it really quite by accident. Uh, Wallace was the only uh, flat place in the whole valley here. Anyway, this valley turned out to be a prosperous mining uh, area, and um, it's the center of the Coeur d'Alene Mining District, also known as the Silver Valley, the richest silver mining district in the U.S., with uh, so far over a billion ounces of silver extracted from the valley through the years. That in silver prices is about $32 billion of silver being mined here. Now, <clears throat> today it's one of three most valuable silver districts in the world and still active. Uh, <clears throat> the first uh, wagon road was built here connecting the Pacific Northwest with the eastern part of the United States. And uh, it's on the, what is called the Mullen Military Road, now part of Interstate 90. Now, in 1910, the, uh, the fire called the Great Fire uh, burned over 3 million acres of the forest in this valley. And uh, to give you an idea of what, uh, just how much land that is, 3 million acres would be about twice the size of Yellowstone Park. Even the fires of 1988 in Yellowstone burned about 700,000 acres of forest. Here, it's about 3 million acres. Now, <clears throat> uh, World War I kind of revived the whole silver and lead business here in Wallace. The fire had burned uh, a little over a third of Wallace. Uh, and World War I brought the need for lead and silver uh, to... Uh, of course, to fight the to fight the war, but uh, as things of course change in time, uh, a lot of environmental concerns propped up in the 1970s and 80s, and uh, the Great Smelter, located in Kellogg, Idaho, just a few miles from here, uh, was closed, and uh, it eliminated three fourths of the jobs in this valley. And of course, that sent things uh, spiraling backwards. But there's one mine that remains uh, here in the valley, remains open, and continues to produce uh, lots and lots of silver, making Wallace the longest producing mining area in the United States.